Today, we're going to have Max and Daniel go head to head on the Great Goose Off. So they've been guests before on our live streams and they've been amazing. But this time, what we're going to have them do is we're going to give them the same task, the same time limit, but they'll have different prompts, different strategies, and different MCPs that they'll use. So let's see who can guide Goose to the best results. I want you guys to just build a drawing app. But the brush has to be shaped like a goose. Round one. I'll go to Daniel first, then Max. <laughs> so I'm thinking like the approach here is let's keep it as thin as possible. Let's not use any external dependencies until we absolutely need to. And this can actually be accomplished mostly in the browser via the use of DOM APIs like Canvas. So I'm just going to prompt Goose to like create a drawing app. Um, I'll layer on the goose as like the stencil eventually, but the first thing I want to see is just like a running web app in my browser. So I'll say, um, let's create a web app uh, using nothing but vanilla JS. Uh, goal is to create a drawing app similar to GIMP or something like you know just working with raw pixels. Right. Raw pixel data. As a first step, uh, let's create a simple like HTML plus CSS plus JS setup and run it, you know, via local like file in the browser URL, and we'll see what Goose comes up with. This is usually enough to get it going. Yeah, let's see. While we're chilling, um, I'll just sort of like walk through what I think Goose is going to do. The first thing it's probably going to do is like bootstrap. A project. I actually have a repo set up uh, in my local, which is called Gooseoff. There's nothing in it right now. So as this um, project like starts building, we'll be able to see, yeah, all these assets like start showing up. And eventually, I'll ask uh, Goose to go ahead and run it in my local browser, and I should be able to like refresh this window and see something. Uh, perfect. And it looks like it's it's sort of doing all the things I asked for. It's starting off with an HTML shell. Um, looks like it's naming it sort of the way I would have expected. So if I ls over here, I should see. Cool. All right. It even picked like a name for it. So let's CD into pixel draw and see what's going on. I'm going to LS. Dope. All right, cool. So we have our three um, like resources. And if you're familiar with uh, model view controller setup, this is kind of that like standard uh, web app approach where we've got um, like our skeleton for display. We've got um, all of the styling that will go into that. And then we've got the control aspect, which is like, how do we make this thing interactive? Because the goal, right, is for me to be able to like draw on this canvas. Cool. Uh, right now, Goose, it looks like it's pumping out some CSS, which is pretty cool. It's got some initial JS here. And great, it's got a responsive canvas. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually load this in VS Code. And then I'm going to use um, a live server plugin that I use all the time, Ritwick Day, shout out, this dude's the man. Uh, this thing should actually boot up in my local browser, and it looks like I can draw. So amazing. Oh, that was fast. All right, yeah. I'm going to go on ahead to see how Max is doing. Awesome. That was really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I am really behind, but hey, there it is. It just started, started finished. I was just talking to it. And this can do colors, clear, arrays, and all, all the things. And I touched nothing. I just talked to it. Wow. What are some and of the prompts? talking you back gave? to me. What are and some of the prompts you gave it? I literally just said it. Uh, there we go. I said, hey, guys, I want to create a cook up uh, drawing applications like paint or something. Just do it. And it says, OK, I'll do it and run the browser. I <laughs> just did it. Oh my <laughs> I just wiped it into existence. Oh, my so, goodness. Round two. So Goose made this little app, right? And I'm going to ask you guys to add a feature to it. Basically, all it does mm. is um, it's like a little game where people fix the code. Like it goes them a code snippet. You find like what bug is in there. But the feature that you guys need to add is enabling it to have to support other languages. Right now, it only uses JavaScript. So I don't know if you guys want to. I don't want to give ideas. I don't know if you guys want to do a drop down or whatever. And maybe the person that supports the most programming languages will win. How does that sound? Do a book. Maybe some fun. Yeah, or maybe some fun feature. I'm in. Yeah, you guys can go crazy with it too. But that's like the basic. So what I'm gonna do is uh, add a set up pop up probably before start. That allows to select multiple languages. Uh, 
Okay, we'll go with this first. So I'm giving it literally nothing. I'm just saying it. Clone this, look at it, add support for multiple languages, and set up a pop-up. That's it. So I'm just literally going to do nothing. Uh, honestly, for these types of things, I noticed that Goose is really good with 3.7. Oh, this is 3.5 right now. It's going to be fun to see what 3.5 is going to do. It is just simply natively good in analyzing things which it can fully put into its context. So I am trying to give it as, li uh, as little as possible direction initially. I want it to read and understand. And then once it implements something, then I can give it more specific instructions. I find that initially, if I give it too much instructions, it kind of stops exploring itself, I guess. So we'll wait for now for it to read. Yeah, so I think I have support for every language in existence right now. Oh, wow. What yeah. the? I just told Gus, like, can you just add like every language on the market? I'd probably pick like the OS like top fifty. Um, this is kind of sick. And you know, I I did a, a workaround here because I wanted it to be fast. Um, okay. I sort I swapped out the React implementation for Vanilla JS because I didn't uh... want to have to deal with like dependency blocking or NPM. Like I'm running in an environment where I have to deal with like a local artifactory mirror. Okay. Um, I mean, I can literally like change this to OCaml, which is kind of sick. Here it says I'm missing an implementation, <laughs> which is fine. So yeah, I'd actually love to see uh, syntax highlighting. So I'm just going to say like, hey, Goose, you're crushing it. Uh, let's go ahead and add syntax highlighting. By the way, I throw emojis in there. I was just saying, oh, you like you put a smiley face. <laughs> oh, this is so dope. OK, cool. So now it can actually like I can play the game. So I scored one for that. That's amazing. Um, return null is not the answer, so I lost a point. That makes a lot of sense. Let me try oh, this with TypeScript. Like, uh, yeah, so basically the game now, it's like, is this correct TypeScript? And in this case, interface heart, status, string. Yeah, we need semicolons after each line, so I scored one for that. And more language. I'm curious to see what your prompt is for languages. I was just like, add every language that you've ever seen. Oh, I, I've said just add support for more languages, nice, and it nice. went for three, but nice. Like JavaScript is a cube, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love now this. you can select languages. I want to test by disabling everything by Python, and you get Python. Oh, wow. Ooh, let's go. 